What is going on everybody? My name is Nick and I just have to introduce every single video like that because it is habit at this point. But because this is a channel update kind of video, I'm pretty sure that the people watching this already know who I am. I don't really need much of an introduction, but it's just the thing that I do. And as the title and prob probably the thumbnail of this video uh, have given away, I have got an idea for a format, a different kind of format, I guess you can say, of my review videos because of course um, back when I made my made my change to not include the full video to just kind of like do to do that to cut the cut the music video up people didn't like that and I 100% understand you know the reason why um, because people want to see a live reaction you know hear my live thoughts and physical reactions and the faces and the emotions and the feelings and the stuff and the things like 100% understand that but of course from you know, my personal perspective as far as, you know, wanting to present a review and well thought out ideas and, and points and also having to comply with copyright law and other sorts of and other things like that. Mostly my own personal, you know, like what I think that the aim of the video is supposed to be doing a live reaction like I was doing before it, where the entire video was basically shot in one take. I had a live reaction and then I had first impression comments which you know a lot of times ended and were just me rambling for a few minutes talking about the same thing uh, but saying it in different ways every single time. Uh, that was not the best way of doing things so I changed it up and of course people didn't like it. And like I said I 100% understand why because as I said right now, your example of me here rambling because I don't have a set script for this video, you know people want to see a live reaction. So my idea, of course, I came to the, before I go to my idea, let's just, you know, say, so the, the kind of like compromise that I came up with, which is okay, but obviously is not the best viewing experience. And I can definitely understand and admit that the way that I do videos now, fast forwarding through where I fast forward through the parts where I don't actually say anything in my live reaction is a bit um, hard to watch. It's difficult. It's, it's very, um, like abrupt and jarring and disorienting, I guess you can say. So I'm driving home from school today, from my classes today, and I had the and I had the idea. I don't even remember what prompted the idea to pop in, into my head, but I had the idea that what I could do, right, to give people that full reaction to the full uncut music video that they want is basically to like just have a commentary dubbed over the video not really like actual dubbed over because you would film me like you know a normal reaction would be but i would be talking over the video as i was doing before you know ex but explaining just talking about all of the different points and the moments and the things and the thoughts that were going in in my head as i was watching the music video so in technically it wouldn't be a live first impression reaction but it would be me you know describing what i was thinking and feeling and stuff like that and you know pointing out points in the video and stuff that were significant to me when I first watched it, right? So it would be in that in that regard for me, it would be, it would be more thought out, more cohesive, more coherent, which I think is good. But in you know, and then the viewers would get you know the thing that they want, which is a full uh, reaction. The only thing though is that I would most definitely have to mute the audio for those videos, just because you know, copyright one is one. It, and honestly, if right, copyright is a small issue in, in this entire thing, like it definitely is a big issue on YouTube in general right now. But for me personally, the copyright thing is a small problem. And, you know, whenever people, you know, ask about why I make videos the way that I do now, I have, you know, somebody who comes and explains for copyright reasons. It's not specifically for copyright reasons. It plays a role, but the main role is in the the creative, the formatting of the video as it fits to what the end purpose and what the goal of the video is. So, what I'm going to do, what I would do in this new in this new format here, is mute the audio for the music video, because as the way that I look at it, and this is the number one reason why I would do that. The way that I look at my videos is they're not supposed to be the 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 focus of the video. I'm supposed to be the focus. What I have to say is the focus. If you want to watch the music video, you should go and watch the official music video on the official music video on the official channel for the group or CJ e &M or one, the K or wherever it's uploaded because the fans of that group really, really care. 
and they are very, very proud of their view counts. So if you're coming to my video to watch my reaction or my review without actually going to that, and then you get an idea really of what the song sounds like through my reaction video, I don't really want that because I don't want my videos to be the place or to be a place where you can experience the music video without actually going to the official upload to experience the music video. So I'm going to mute the audio. Now, to overcome that part right there, um, what I would have to do and what I think that I would have to do is when I get to my review portion, which again would be you know, picking out specific examples and points to talk about and highlight in the song and music video, then I definitely would pull out audio visual examples of the videos and include those, which are perfectly fine through copyright and perfectly fine with me because it's a review and it's fine with copyright because it falls within fair use because it is using a small sample for the purpose of critique and review. So I would not be in any, I don't have to worry about, you know, any sort of copyright or anything like that because it falls under fair use 100% without a doubt. So that aspect of it does the still the, the reaction without the audio doesn't necessarily comply so much with with fair use, but taking out the audio honestly would cut down on any of the issues that I would ha would be having except for with YG Entertainment because I think that they manually search for videos containing any of their content and flag them, which is perfectly fine. I honestly don't care. I mean, I'm taking their their stuff and I'm making videos and I'm profiting off of it to a certain extent. So, you know, they worked harder than I did to make that content and it's being provided, music video at least, the subject of my videos is being provided for free. So I think that they should be able to make some money off of it if they really want to. And I have no complaints about that. So that is my idea. I'm not going to, you know, debut this and roll this out on my normal content that gets released for brand new releases. What I'm going to do probably this weekend, depending on what the on, on how I fall behind or if I fall behind on reaction video or reviews for new releases, is going to start coming out on the throwback reactions that I'm going to start once again, hopefully regularly uploading on the weekends or whenever I have a a free day where there is no new music. So I'm going to debut the new format with a throwback reaction, with a few, couple throwback reactions to gauge people's response. And then when I feel comfortable that people like it or hate it or something like that, then I might roll it out or you know con continue to tweak it and stuff like that. So I don't know. So if you got that idea and you have an understanding here, a, a decent understanding or just any, I don't, if you have any sort of feedback on what you think of what you hear, what you think of Think about what you are hearing right now as I'm describing it. Then let me know down in the comments on you know whether you think this is a good idea or you know any different ideas on how to like tweak it or make it a little bit better. And you know I'm eager to to hear what you have to say. Also, then you know just hold on and wait and anticipate the next most uh, well the next upcoming uh, throwback reactions because they will have this new format. And you know watch those and let me know what you think on in the comment section of those videos as well. So. That is that is it. That was actually a pretty uh, coherent and cohesive kind of explanation for not having a script, a, a written out guideline of what to say. So I think that was pretty damn good by me. So that is going to be it for this video. You know, the introduction, the outro and stuff and the things. You know, as always, I want to thank you for watching. And I'll see you in, well, my next reaction video or something like that coming up probably tomorrow. So that's going to be it for this video. As always, I want to thank you for watching. And I'll see you all next time.